Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. I hope you are all doing okay. Um, so, a couple of apologies to make. Firstly, for absence of videos in the last sort of week and a half, two weeks. I definitely didn't do any last weekend. Um, and I did a very brief one just before that, whilst poorly, um, because I was poorly. Um, so apologies for that, so that's the first one. Secondly, um, I probably sounded miserable as sin on that very last video I did, so um, apologies for that. It's not normally my, um, my normal demeanour, but I was feeling quite unwell and I wanted to record the Jack and Sally um, just in case they were collected for Halloween so yeah so apologies if that was like a really miserable <laughs> video and I looked and sounded really miserable I was very tired and feeling very unwell um, I'm doing okay now I finished some antibiotics and I was signed off work so I'm now back at work um, so yeah doing okay thank you for those who sent well wishes um, so I'm back I have had some yarning deliveries to show you and I've also started something new so what I'm going to do is in this video I will show you the deliveries and then I will do a second video uh, to show you what I've started because you know me I like to waffle on so I'll split it into two um, so I don't bore you to tears. So I had ordered um, after um, Ali Pally the ladies at WeQ um, I think had some leftover stock but also I think they're clearing the decks um, ahead of sort of Christmas time and obviously having a bit of a break etc so um, they had some in stock items on their website because um, we could have now turned to a, a die to order um, just to fit around the girls um, obviously the twins and working etc um, so yeah so I decided to make purchases while they were available not that I needed them in a hurry, but I just thought, eh, why not? So I did pick one yarn and then I went for a um, two skein mystery bundle. So I will show you the one that I picked to start with because um, I have some others from Wiku, which you have seen. And I think I want to make a jumper or a cardigan. Um, and I've got Blissful Beach and Shells, um, which I ordered. I think I've ordered, I think I've got two of each of those. So I know I roughly need around five 100 gram skeins for a jumper-ish, depending on, I always end up with like really short, you know, cut off sleeves if you've seen my other videos. So I was looking and thought, oh, what will go with it? Like a beachy sort of theme. Um, this doesn't have a beachy sort of name, but I feel it's beachy colors. So this one, we'll let the camera focus on that, not me, is called Listen to Your Heart. Um, so we've got some turquoises here, light blues, darker blues. Try and get that in front of my face, I'll focus on that. He's got some yellows here, yellows at the end here. Um, so to me, it was sort of waves, sand, coastal colours. Um, so that's what I went for and I picked for to go with hopefully the other colours that I've got to make sort of a, a beachy type summery yeah jumper you know what I mean so that's the one I knew and then my mystery bundle these are the ones that were contained within um, again all DK for me um, so I have here one called chase the wind so this has got some there's some dark tonal sort of autumnal colours it's got some sort of deep reds and I would say like a deep purpley just kind of maybe black um, some browns in there some sort of um, orange dark oranges and some sort of green green tones there so that was chase the wind so that's nice nice autumnal one and it's nice because it's colours I you know me I wouldn't have picked for myself so something a bit different there and then the other mystery skein um, is called garden green and it's uh, these I don't for those of you who don't necessarily know and it took me a while to learn I've, it says garden green OOAK one of a kind so this one's never to be repeated they've obviously made it out of I don't know leftover colors in pans or 
pots and things. So um, garden green, I really like that. Which is a shame it's a one of a kind because I really like it. Um, it's got some little pink flourishes in there, some, um, if you can see, some purple sort of flourishes through um, and different tones of green. Um, not, I don't mean this in the way it sounds, it's like a washed out green, but not, obviously, that's not a criticism, that's just the tone of it. Um, but no, I really like that. I, it kind of gives me a bit of a fairies in the garden type vibe, that one. Um, but it's a one of a kind, so it's all mine. So that were, was my Wiku order um, that came through. I think that came through the end of the first week I was ill, so that would have been after, just after I recorded that quick video. Um, then we also placed an order on Rainbow Fusions. I was getting the Galaxy Club, but I had stopped for a while. Um, so I've been seeing what the Galaxy yarns are on the website and picking them up um, as I go. Um, so I've gone for another Galaxy yarn with the next, yes, the next one in the, in the set, I suppose. I think this is August, so I need to find September's. Um, so this is called Helix Nebula. So it looks a lot darker probably on camera than it is. It's kind of, I can turn it in the light. It's, there are darks, but it's not, well, I suppose that bit is completely black, but some of it looks completely black and it's not quite. It's like, um, I suppose a charcoal-y with a slight gray mix. So you've got some grays in there, some greens mixed in, um, a little bit of brown there and some sort of reds and slight pinks. So that is Helix Nebula to go with the rest of the galaxy. And then I'm not sure if I showed you this before because I did order a 50 gram skein in DK Superwash Merino. Um, but what I've done is I've ordered two here. So I've got a 50 gram and a 100 gram. So this one is DK Superwash and Merino, but it's a 100 gram skein of Don't Feed the Trolls. I'm not sure if I showed you that one already there to have purchased that in a 50 gram and then this 50 gram is just superwash merino so there's no nylon in it so actually if you look at i don't know if you can tell the thickness let's see if we can zoom in this one on the right the actual sort of yarn itself looks thicker than this one so that's got no nylon that's got the nylon 25 percent nylon content um and again same colorway don't feed the trolls um but a 50 gram in superwash superwash only so yeah so that is what i have received from rainbow fusions so those were my orders that have arrived um have i got anything i did place a siobhan's order the other weekend when she did an update and i did go for my care bears for october november i lose track you know i lose track at the end of october 23rd of October, I've ordered my next Care Bears. So I think that's for November's. Um, and yes, I was naughty and ordered myself a couple of extra skeins of other bits. Can't remember what the colours are, but I know that they're lovely. So they will arrive when Care Bears comes. Siobhan's got another update this Sunday at 10 o'clock. So Sunday the 13th at 10 a.m. UK time. Um, she will normally do a preview on Saturday evening around 7 o'clock-ish UK time um, on Instagram. But she will save those to her videos. Um, and it's her Christmas thing. She's got a lot of Christmas themed yarns. So she's got, I think, some Christmas gift boxes um, with various goodies in. Some mini skein baubles and some 100 gram skeins of Christmas themed colourways. Um, so check out her Instagram and her Facebook, etc. for those like the previews. And then you can go on an order Sunday. Um, Toft last week had their first Christmas release on their website. They've done another one. It crashed the website last week. Kerry was on Instagram live at 10 a.m. Said to us it'd be on by lunchtime. So of course we all went, were refreshing the page and I think we caused problems with the upload. So I think she's done a pre-record this morning for Instagram. I haven't managed to look at it yet, but the website, she didn't say a time, so they just popped it on. So it appeared and then they let us know on, top, on, light, um, light, on Instagram stories. So that's now the second wave. So the first wave had some new 
um, it was like um, cozy drink. So a, a cappuccino, a hot chocolate and a tea pot that you could make. Um, they had a new, slightly different Father Christmas, like a traditional Nordic one. Um, head Elfie, because there was a Head Elf, so a male version last year. And they've done Elfie, a female version this year. Um, and a sack pattern as well, in case you want that for your elves or your Santa Claus, Father Christmas. This week, it looks like they've released a lot of the previous advents. So the advent that I did that was, which I don't think you would have seen because I did this before I started my YouTube channel, was the um, uh, Winter Doll. I'm going to call it a Winter Doll because it wasn't Ice Queen or Snow Queen or Winter Wizard because you could pick how which way you wanted to go. So we started to make it and then you could either turn it into a, a wizard, a, a queen or whatever you fancied. So they've released those. They've also released the Resplendent Quetzal we did last year. Um, not in the same colourway because they were limited editions with the Jade and the Emerald. But they have released it on Toft with slightly different colourways but with beads. They've also got this week uh, Poinsettia with beads on it. I think the Estella the Clockwork Nightingale with beads. They are obviously now doing some kits with beads for sort of the Christmas season. Um, and their new stash bag has gone live, which has a patch of Hugo the Lion, I think he is. So I'll pop a link in, you can check out. So there is um, new Toft goodies. They're doing them in, in sort of waves, so they're not doing it all in one hit. So I'm not sure if we're getting another one next week. Um, I might find out at the same time as you by looking at the, uh, the live. Um, but I'm trying to think what else was on there. Oh, Flora Society. So they are doing a Flora Society again um, this year, but looking at it, it's saying about edible plants. So I'm thinking actually maybe they might do, because they've started releasing some of the vegetables, um, they might do that. Yes, I don't think I've seen you since then. So Toft have released some vegetable patterns now to go like with the Flora Society. So we had some pumpkins and some broad beans and things. Um, so yeah, apologies if you've been relying on me. Have a look on Toft. They've, they've updated quite a lot in the last few weeks and there's going to be a vegetable book to go with the Alexandra's flower garden. Well, it's got Alexandra's garden flowers, Alexandra's garden vegetables now. Um, so yeah. Right, I'm going to stop waffling. That's where they all are at the moment. We're at Toft, Siobhan's. Um, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Um, I'll do another stash video as soon as I have some more stash to show you. Um, and yeah, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye.